Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Apple AirTag, the unboxing experience, the setup, and since not everyone has a Yuan enabled iPhone, I'll be showing you how to use it on a device without the Yuan chip. So let's get straight into it. Apple's GPS tracker has been a long awaited product. Delayed numerous times, we finally got it in our hands. I ordered mine online on the official Apple India store when pre-orders opened up. Let's cut this open and get to the box. One thing I love about Apple's online store is that they package the stuff they ship properly. No flimsy bags or worries of a damaged product. Here's the box. Let's slip it out and open it up. Now, as you can see, the Indian retail unit I have here stuck this ugly sticker on the front since there's nowhere else for it. Sadly, my attempt at removing it was in vain. To open up the box now, we've got to turn it over and remove the pull tabs at the back. Once you've got the pull tab out of the way, I had a little bit of trouble getting this part off, but other than that, open it up and you'll find a little tab. Take that tab and pull it out and voila, we're in. Now inside this tiny box, you'll find some paperwork. This is the regulatory and warranty related information. Sadly, there are no Apple stickers in the box this time. I love how Apple has presented the AirTag. It's like flipping open a book. The instructions are stated clearly. Update your iPhone first and make sure that you've turned on Bluetooth. Then, once set up, you can find more details in the Find My app. This tracker uses Bluetooth Low Energy, and it also requires iOS 14.5 and above to work. Now, let's set all that aside right now, and let's unwrap the AirTag. Alright, so here is the AirTag. It's really, really tiny. It's about the size of a coin, which I'll show you later on. So, let's remove the protective plastic cover over it. Once you take the plastic off, the battery inside makes contact and lets the AirTag power on. That front is pretty shiny, and you can see me in it there. Hello. AirTags are completely customizable at order. You can put select emojis and letters on them. I opted to go for an emoji along with my initials. Now, you'll notice that the front is made out of stainless steel, and you know what that reminds me of? Well, the backs of the old iPod and iPod Touches. In time, this will probably look like that. Okay, so here is a closer look at the AirTag. Like I mentioned before, the front is made out of the stainless steel and the back is a glossy white plastic. For size comparison, here it is next to a new 5 rupee coin. It's quite a bit bigger. And here's the thickness compared to a coin and an iPhone XR. It's quite a bit thicker than the coin. So you won't have any luck sticking this into a slim wallet. Along with the AirTag, I do highly recommend picking up a keyring or a loop for it if you plan on attaching it to something. Now let's get this thing working. Setup is just like AirPods. Bring them close to your iPhone and bang, they show up instantly. If you're not on iOS 14.5, you'll get this prompt to upgrade. Install the update and you're good to go. Once done, you can connect to the AirTag and set it up. The setup will ask you to name your AirTag. I chose to call mine Parix AirTag. Once you're done giving it a name, you're gonna have to assign an emoji to it. And then you'll be able to register the AirTag to your Apple ID and your phone number. Syncing your data to the AirTag will take a little bit of time, so I've sped up the process so I can show you what's next. Once it's done setting up, you'll get this new view showcasing all that you can do with the AirTag. Now, let's view more detail in the Find My app. The Find My app along with iOS 14.5 brings AirTag support, third-party accessories, and improvements to notifications. In case you aren't familiar, the Find My app allows you to see the location of devices that you own, as well as the location of your AirTags. Here's what it's like to view an AirTag on the map. You'll be able to see its charge level along with the options to play a sound, get directions to it, and to turn on lost mode. Here's the sound that it plays. If you turn on lost mode, you'll receive a notification when the location of the AirTag is known, and the AirTag locks itself to your Apple ID. And anyone who finds it will be able to scan it and get contact details to return the item back to you. Now, let's get to finding something. Since my iPhone XR doesn't have a U1 chip, I can't use precision finding. For precision finding, you're going to need an iPhone 11 or later, since these are the iPhones that ship with the ultra-wideband chip in them. If you want to see how that works, I've left a link for a video in the description below that shows you exactly how that works. As of the time of this recording, there is a lockdown where I live and I haven't been able to take this out and test it properly. But for now, let's say I've lost my wallet somewhere in my house. Let's set out to find it. I can make it ring by asking Siri, or I can find directions to it if it's far off. Let's try using the sound to find out where it is. Found it! Now, if you lose it somewhere far away from home, how will you know its location? If it's further away, hundreds of millions of Apple devices and the Find My network can help track it down. 
They're all reporting the AirTag's location anonymously, and it's encrypted for privacy. So no matter where it is, chances are an Apple device will come across one and send its location to the Find My network. Let's quickly touch upon privacy. Apple promises that the tag never stores its location history and it can't be used to track people. Once an AirTag is separated from its owner and seems to be traveling with you, your iPhone will alert you, letting you know that there's a stowaway AirTag with you. The AirTags are also IP67 water and dust resistant, meaning they can handle a drop in the water or a soak in the rain. And as far as battery life is concerned, the AirTag uses a CR2032 coin cell that lasts for about a year and is user replaceable. I'm super happy that this isn't something that I gotta keep charging regularly. Let's talk about the price. AirTags cost $29 for one and $99 for a pack of four. If you want to add an engraving, you can select the add engraving option and get one done for free. Though they come at an affordable price, their accessories will cost you a little bit extra. If you're in the Apple ecosystem and lose stuff regularly, or you just want to keep track of your valuables, this is a great buy and I highly recommend picking it up. And that's about it for this video. I'm so happy to see that you've made it to the end. Drop a handy dandy air tag in the comments and if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them down below as well. I'll be doing a long term review on these, so if there's anything that you'd like to know about them, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button as it really helps the video. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.